Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hallemeyer. Today I'm going to do a project for my kindergarten kids who are doing a chick unit. So they buy these little chicks and they observe them for um, their science unit. And so today I'm going to show you guys how to make a clay chick and you could have multiple options for the clay. You could use Crayola Model Magic uh, White and you can get this from Target. They sell four ounce packages of it for $3.50. All I'm going to use today is one ounce so you should have plenty in that. You could use Play-Doh or you could use salt dough. And salt dough, I'm going to send a PowerPoint to the kindergarten teachers, um, or if you're just watching this on YouTube, I'll attach a recipe for it under this video so that you know how to make the salt dough. And salt dough, you can bake in the oven, it turns hard. If you want permanent options, the model magic and the salt dough are what you want. If you want it to be permanent, Play-Doh obviously would not be. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my package of Model Magic and I am going to cut it open. And boys and girls, Model Magic is a air dry clay. So you don't have to bake this, this will just dry in the air. This is a one ounce package. So if you buy the four ounce package, you're taking about a fourth of it. You can cut it with a scissors. And I'm gonna take this one ounce package and I'm just gonna manipulate it soft in my hands. And adults and kids, if you look at this, I have about the amount of clay that fits in an adult palm, kind of like this, right? So it fits nicely there. You don't want too much clay for this. So now I'm gonna make this whole chick by pinching. In kindergarten, this is really good practice for you because you kind of do have to learn how hard to pinch to shape this. So I have a ball here, I can roll it, I can smooth out the cracks as best I can. You don't need water for this clay um, and you don't want water for salt dough either or Play-Doh, so no water. Um, and I just mentioned that because the gray clay we use in class, sometimes kids do put water on it. And now I'm gonna take this ball and I'm gonna form the head. And one helpful tip is that you kinda of wanna pinch out a doorknob, boys and girls. So imagine that this is kind of a door and I'm pinching a doorknob that's gonna go diagonally up like this. So you actually wanna grab, boys and girls, a good amount of clay. Like, look at my fingers are in the middle of this ball of clay and I'm gonna start pinching up from the middle. So you can see now that head is coming out. And kindergartners, the big thing about this project is you really gotta learn not to pinch too hard. You're pressing, but let's say I make a mistake, right? I'm gonna purposely make a mistake and I press too hard and it goes like that, oh no. Just remember boys and girls, it's clay. So if you make a mistake, you just put it back into a ball and you can just try again, right? What I learned from that is I pinched a little too hard. So now I'm gonna try it again, all right? Going in the middle, pinch up, and I'm kinda of going diagonally up here, all right? And I want something that looks like a doorknob. There we go, that kinda of looks like a doorknob, right? Okay, so once I have my doorknob, I can kind of make that body a little rounder. I want his head going up. So I'm just gonna tilt it up a little bit like that. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch out the beak. So I'm gonna take my fingers and this I'm gonna pinch a little harder because the chick's beak would kind of be flat. Or if you want it a little rounder, you can kind of turn your fingers too, but there we go. And that actually looks a little too pointed to me. I don't like that. So again, I just smush it back in. There we go, that looks better to me, right? Next part I'm gonna do is I want the little red part that kind of sticks up above his head. And so I'm gonna take a little bit of clay, pinch up here. And this one I'm pinching a little harder, boys and girls, because I want this part to be flat. Okay. And now the last part is gonna be his tail that kind of flies out. And so I'm gonna take my fingers here and I'm taking more than just one. I'm taking my thumb and about four or three of my fingers and I'm pinching this tail part up. And 
Now what I'm gonna get is a fork because that fork is gonna help me put the texture in. Remember texture, boys and girls, is the way something feels. So I'm gonna hold my chicken like this. So see sideways, I'm gonna lay him so that his little tail's on the table. And I'm gonna take the fork and just kind of press the fork in and give some texture to his little tail there. See that? And boys and girls, that's basically it. My chicken is done, it's formed. And again, if you mess up, that happens. I messed up too, right? So then you just smush the clay back in a ball and you can try again. Now, I would not recommend coloring this and I just colored it with markers, boys and girls, with Crayola markers. I would not recommend coloring this until it is dry. So if it's model magic, that's gonna take, I would say a full day. So you could color it the next day. If it's uh, salt dough, you're gonna cook it in the oven and when it comes out of the oven, you don't wanna touch it right away because it's gonna be hot, um, but then you can color it once it's cooled down and that should be in the salt dough instructions that are being sent in that uh, PowerPoint presentation or um, in the recipe below the YouTube video. So once it is dry, I just did some simple things. I colored the beak yellow, colored his little top red, and I drew with black where I wanted a wing. This is basically just a triangle. See that shape? And then I just added some lines in there and then two little black dots for eyes and he's pretty much finished. All right, boys and girls, I hope you're enjoying your chick unit and I hope you enjoyed making this. If you like this video, subscribe to Art Recycled and I'll see you next time. Bye.